30 disabled bus riders say one of their transfer stops isn't safe. They say it's in the middle of nowhere and poorly lit, not to mention it's at a prison. Coin6 wants to know if there are other options, and our Amy Fraser found out. A passenger I met with today tells me that riders with disabilities need a safer place to transfer buses. One of his big concerns is that this stop here at Coffee Creek is so isolated. People that are in bad health, you know, something bad could, could happen out there and no one would even know until it's too late for them. 50-year-old Jeff Cather lives in Gresham but works in Wilsonville. Each day at 5.30 a.m., he takes a TriMet lift bus from Gresham to this bus stop at Coffee Creek. The wait here can be up to an hour for a smart vehicle serving Wilsonville to take him the rest of the way to work. And if something happens out there, there is no access to public phones or when the weather is either extremely hot or extremely cold, there's no place to get out of the weather. I checked with smart transit officials to find out what's being done about these concerns. So what we've been trying to do is find a, a, a safer and more convenient spot. I found out smart made arrangements with the Holiday Inn of Wilsonville to do the transfer at the hotel. Smart officials say they then submitted the paperwork to TriMet. And they, to our surprise, they uh, denied it. Uh, they said it was without outside their transit uh, district boundaries. Unfortunately, it's only like two blocks out of the uh, transit district boundary. Allen tells me he understands that the boundary has to be somewhere, but he also believes the change would be better for customers and TriMet. TriMet has to drive right past this Holiday Inn yes. to get to this Coffee Creek stop. That's correct. In a statement, TriMet says SMART has identified nearby locations inside TriMet service district, which might work as an alternative to the Coffee Creek location. Once TriMet receives final confirmation from SMART regarding the identified locations, TriMet will begin to service that location promptly. Transit officials in Wilsonville say they'll keep working to find some sort of solution. We'll keep you posted on what happens next. Reporting in Wilsonville, Amy Frazier, Coin6 news. Amy tells us that Smart Transit says they're checking on a fire station that's within TriMet's boundaries to transfer riders, but there might be concerns there with emergency vehicles.